Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 37 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're well pretty much midway through the second half of this campaign. Hey partner! We must defend our position and stop Kaiba from reaching the capital! We finally we finished fortifying our defenses. He will not be able to approach easily. I'm guessing they have cannons. That does not surprise me at all. Wait a minute, what, look at this! Why are they going this way? That doesn't make sense. But, uh, that's no skin off my scrotum. Oh god. Okay, that's a lot of cannons over here. What about this base? That also has cannons! I should still send Kaiba over to, like, the lake, and just put him in position to attack? Huh, Loomis has, well, this team. Dunamis Dark Witch, Orion the Battle King, and Guilty of the D-Knight. Oh, this could be pretty bad if we're using, like, bones. Now, do, do every single base have all these cannons? Yes. No! What? What? Why would Ka why would they fortify the non-essential bases, but this particular base, like the main one, has no cannons? That's kind of fucked up. Hard pardon the language right there, but it is. What were they thinking? That makes no sense. Why would you? Why would you do that? I can send Kaiba over there right now. You know what? Let's do that. I mean, I know we've been speeding through this mission a bit too fast. Personally, I think something else is gonna happen. I should probably, like, send somebody over there to take out Loomis. Uh, you may not be the best choice either, believe it or not, Labyrinth Ruler. But they're heading our way to our base. Okay, and Umbra has Serpent Knight Dragon, Ryukish Empowered, and Bickery Box. These are the other units right here. Fair enough. Doesn't seem like anything too threatening. We still gotta deal with all those cannons. If I had, like, uh, any forces that could swim, they can go in there. But obviously I don't have that luxury. So let's do it like this. We will not yield our position. Oh, I'm I'm afraid you will. Unfortunately, if Kaiba does get into Nonbur, we still have the issue of that other unit that went to the base. Not to mention Thunder Dragon, well, at this point is very weak at this point. Given that this is his very first battle. Hopefully it doesn't get attacked. And if it does, then I'm gonna have to resort to using Twin Head Thunder Dragon immediately. Which one? Okay, Guilty of the D-Knight is the one with the healing items. Also, I noticed Dunamis Dark Witch has an insane amount of action points. So this could be a serious problem. Given that I don't have the ability to paralyze it. Okay, confuse Guiltia, then we don't have to worry about it healing. <coughs> okay, what's that attack power gonna be like? Uh, that's pretty bad. Not terrible, but bad. And remember, she's got like eight more attacks left. That brought Thunder Dragon to like uh, less than half HP in one hit. Okay, one of them's defeated. So yeah, I think we should fuse right away. Let's do it. I mean, Twin Head Thunder Dragon is not going to be at a very good level either because of the level average. 
mean, it's only at level 31. It doesn't have any abilities. Oh, it still has all its abilities. That's real good. That could really be useful. Won't allow me to use them a lot, though, but still. I think I should use it once. And charge up so that whatever three attacks I have left will be more powerful. Either way, Dynamis Dark Witch has to go first, out of those two. So, we could be in rough shape, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be alright. Luckily, it's only like one unit ready to attack us, and that's Loomis. Umbra is just waiting in his base. Oh, that's actually very good damage. I like that. Just too bad I don't have a lot of action points due to Thunder Dragon's level, but... That's okay, at the end of this battle, it's gonna be a bit higher. Wow! Red Eyes Black Me Metal Dragon is actually quite agile. Just dodge a couple attacks in a row. I didn't think it would get so lucky. Wait, let's go over the abilities again. Okay, Twin and Thunder Dragon has Lucky. And Black Metal Dragon has Armor. <coughs> so that's not too bad. Alright, I don't see Orion the Battle King being defeated in this round. Even if we did get two crits. But at least we can make it miserable. There, so we just get to eat only one more attack. Oh, and that actually hit. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we're gonna get insane level ups here. We got like nine level ups on Thunder Dragon by itself. That's real good. Okay, heal up to patch up all that damage you took. There. It's as if nothing had happened. I guess it would have been a better idea to send Weevil over there to take the last wave so he can get experience for his two new units. But I guess I didn't think that through, now did I? I guess I was just feeling the momentum of having Rex Raptor a bit stronger. That attack is still very weak though. But it'll get better. Ooh, that was a critical hit. To make up for all those attacks it dodged. And it's over for you. Look at that. That, that was actually quite easy. We still got Umbra to defeat, though. Okay, Thunder Dragon made it to level 14. That's that's good. It's actually catching up. So, let's do this. Oh yeah, we gotta go through like two attacks. Two attackers. Okay, it's two, uh, three warriors. I think Kaiba can manage this. In the grand scheme of things. Might take a bit of damage, but at the end of the day, we can patch it up. Okay, can they heal? No, but they have, like, beast fangs. Oh, moisture creature is getting a little bit more compatible with us. So as a result, it's able to, like, have an extra attack point. That's awesome! We'll focus on Panther Warrior because it has the most action points. That goes without saying. So as a result, three of them are going to have a little bit more attack power. Nothing that we can't handle. Especially if they decide to wait out their turns. Which I'm okay with, especially if they're very close to being defeated. Oh, it guarded now. 
Okay, we'll focus on Garuzis next. That's the only one that didn't guard. Feels like we're throwing our turns around, but if we're gonna do this damage anyway, we might as well spread it out. Besides, we've probably done enough damage to Black Luster Soldier can take out Garuzis right now. So let's do that. I'm not worried about Battle Ox yet. Save him for last. Yeah, I just want a Panther Warrior's um, guard to go away. Ooh, that was close to 700 damage right there. I think when Battle Ox is close to being defeated, we should just heal up Moisture Creature. And then we'll be strong enough to defeat Umbra. Rather than have to worry about one of our units, like, kicking the bucket too fast. Oh yeah, I forgot I still have Soul of Obelisk. I haven't been using my Egyptian God in some time. Guess I didn't really need to. I mean, if you got, like, capable monsters, I mean, Obelisk should only be, like, your last resort. So far, I never really came across a situation where my back was against the wall. You're just gonna drag this on, aren't ya? It's too bad, you're gonna die anyway. Normally, I would like to try to take all the bases and then the commander, but because of all those cannons, I don't really feel like waiting it out. Might as well just strike in there right away. I think something's supposed to happen if you wait a period of time, and then somebody will come in to help ya. So why don't we test that theory? I'm gonna send somebody to try to attack the bases. But I'll send Kaiba really close. That way, whenever, like, if there is a cutscene we can trigger, we don't have to wait that long before we attack. I think it's gonna be you, Bones. Take Jark, will ya? Or try to take Jark. And see what happens. <laughs> if anything happens, at least. <coughs> Will we get a cutscene, or is it just simple damage? Yeah, go back, will ya? Much appreciated. You will not pass here! I'm not looking to pass through there, I'm looking to go through there. Passing through means I can just go around. Okay, so these three units will obviously not be a problem. I didn't... did I check if they had items? They, they didn't have items, did they? Okay, that one did. Okay, two of them are dark monsters, one's a dragon. Okay. I think we know who we're looking to go after. I mean, I can save Serpent Night Dragon for Black Luster Soldier. That would be pretty obvious at this point. Okay, does Serpent Night Dragon's attack have that ability yet? Because I heard there was an ability that if you were lucky, you can actually reduce its action points. No, it's not at that level yet. There, Serpent Knight Dragon is defeated. Yukishin Power will probably heal up, but that's alright. And there it is. Okay, so it's just two monsters left. This will actually be very easy. They are just gonna drop to us. You know what, just because I'm feeling like a jerk, I might as well use Obelisk to torment her. As if they didn't have a chance now, they definitely don't at this point. Yeah, you might as well patch yourself up just to delay the inevitable. I mean, you pretty much have no chance at all. I mean, look. 
My right pectoral muscle. I am so screwed. Oh my god. Stats are still very good. I think we're on the 80s. Oh, Big Red Box is lucky to survive that. How you managed to miss that, that blows my mind. It it looks like a direct hit. It really does. And yet it misses. Well, you obviously did not stand a chance at all. Wow. That was a breeze. Finally, Sigvarts is in my sights. Lord Kaiba, who are you? That's a Shizu Ishtar, High Priestess of the Imperial Order and the root of all corruption in the Empire. The High Mage was under Scott's control and undermined the very foundation of the Empire. I blame myself for not being able to stop it from happening. You have every right to be angry, Lord Pegasus. I was locked away in Sigvarts and only recently managed to escape. The High Mage was just being used by Scott. However, it is time to set things right again. Please allow me to help the Resistance. I was able to steal this map showing a way into the capital. I believe we can use this to save Mokuba. Where is Mokuba now? Mokuba is being kept in Sigvarts. He was brought there just as I was making my escape. I believe that he is still in Sigvarts with Scott. If you take me to Sigvarts, I may be able to determine exactly where Scott is keeping him. So I ask you, please allow me to fight with you. I am also a marshal. I'm sure I can be an asset to the resistance. All right, I will be counting on you when we reach Sigvarts. Do not let me down. Oh, we got ourselves a new marshal. Awesome. Surprise attack, eh? Let's do this. Why are we going in the opposite direction? Having overtaken Nanbur Castle, Kaiba and his army are poised to attack the capital. When suddenly, Scott and his army appear behind them and quickly take control of the perimeter. Kaiba moves his forces to Anchor Hill in order to fight the enemy now behind him. Okay, so let's take a look at Ishizu's unit, shall we? Ooh, this could actually be really good. She can also use an Egyptian god. Okay, she has Dunamis Dark Witch, which is awesome in its own right. It has the Lucky Ability and the Justice Flash, which of course can inflict damage on all dark monsters. Orion's Anger, well, that's just generic. And Magician of Faith. Rainbow Blast inflicts heavy damage on dark monsters as well. Plus, the levels are actually very impressive. So, let's get these uh, updated right now. Yeah, we should definitely be doing that. Oh, like, this particular team is being kept. Make no mistake about it. Well, we can already do heavy damage on dark monsters, but that's only through a special. So, we might as well just, like, give it the enchanted javelin. Um... We'll give you Dianketo the Cure Master. Wait, you're all spirit monsters, right? Well, except for you, you're a spellcaster. In the grand scheme of things, like, a power of nature is still not a bad idea. Increases the atta action points and attack power of all spirit monsters. Sign me up. You will also get a power of nature, as well as the enchanted javelin. Actually, let me give you a silver bow and arrow, and an enchanted javelin. Magician of Faith, I mean, I can just leave you there as a pretty good healer. Give you a Monster Reborn, that'd be a good idea. Which, of course, Magician of Faith has been more often than not used to bring in Monster Reborns. She can't use magic yet, though. Maybe I just need to get her at a higher enough, at a higher level. Maybe I can give you... I don't think Soul of Obelisk will be necessary. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, we already got a powerful unit anyway. Oh my god, you're definitely coming with us, Ishizu, for sure! Alright, so, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next episode, we'll be going back to Anchor Hill and dealing with this surprise attack. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching.